This episode is brought to you by Cast 11, Prescott's number one podcast network. Take 201. Hey, Ben. Hey, Mike. Are you ready for our phone call today? You know I am. We have another great guest lined up. Can't wait. I love phone calls. And I love waiting. So let's go. Perfect. Nailed it. Nailed it. Took, took a minute. First Thanks try. For the help. First try. <laughs> Good afternoon, Ben. Good afternoon, Mike. It's usually morning time, but here we are. I know. A little We're, yeah. It's nice. At the tail end of the day. I'm awake this time. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's always a question. Yeah. Are you awake? See. By this time you are here uh, after one o'clock. And uh, mm-hmm. another day getting to chat with you. I'm so glad. Lucky you. We've had a lot Lucky of history, me. you and me. Yes, sir. How long? 30? I don't know how my math skills are. I mean, yeah, if you wanted to take no, it all, it would it's be approaching 30 that, years, but, probably uh, 28 years. Yeah. Right. Since of like teens. solid friendship. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah. We did, we did, you know, pass each other by a few times. Same YBL team. We brought that up. That was a young age, but we weren't, it wasn't like we were, you know, homies from then no. on. No, it wasn't. You instant, were intimidating. Apparently. Yeah. It was yeah, my beard. So I just, yeah, you probably had a beard. No, at, dude. No, not even close. 12. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was a late I was, bloomer. I was the little guy. Yeah. Nobody noticed you were a late bloomer though, probably. Right. I was a big late bloomer. Right. Big late bloomer. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It kind of works. Yeah. Out. Well, but by the time we were friends in high school, we had a couple things in common. One was golf. Mm-hmm. The other was uh, a fun pastime we enjoyed, which was skateboarding. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I was never, ever any good at it. I think my feet are too big or something like, you know. Yeah. You need to like, now we have long boards or like, you know, good oversized boards. Right. You probably needed that just for your, your basic board. I need, I need the old Street school board. boards, man. Like the evolution of skateboarding went from, you know, just like it was, they had these huge boards that my brother rode and I learned on. Yeah. The big and, wide. Right. And my know, feet like weren't as huge then because I was a little shaped. kid. Yeah. Yeah. And then, mm-hmm. uh, with no real like nose to do tricks on or anything like that, it became yeah. more trick oriented. So they made the board smaller, smaller. My feet kept oh, growing. Tiny. Like, yeah, it didn't work inch. out. You board. know, you know when my skateboarding career pretty much ended, I have a feeling I know <laughs> that that still time in high school in your driveway, uh, was, was about the time I knew <laughs> oh. that I did not belong on those particular four wheels. Uh, I know, man. and I don't think I was like really compassionate enough to re- know what happened to you. Man, I I didn't really know at the time either. That was funny. I tried to like for me like all in over your little like flower gap box thing that you had there yeah, it was like, a trying. huge trick for me, you know. And I didn't pull it off. I think one le- one leg or one foot landed on the board. The other one like landed on the tail, but then slipped off the tail. So the f- other leg kept going and then yeah. my ankle rolled up underneath me. And I remember the pop and just like laying on the ground. And then all you guys, I was like just laying there for quite a while, probably, you know, yeah. I was probably really hamming it up. I don't remember that. Part yeah, you were. Uh, yeah. So that's why we weren't taking it that serious. Like, Right. It seemed like, oh, you're just He's joking. He's a huge baby. He's a big baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's seven, eight guys. So we're not, you know, like worry. You know, we were being cool, <laughs> right? All yeah. skateboarding. Like, oh, yeah, we're not worried about Ben. You know, it's funny. I'm laughing right now because the thing I remember most about that entire incident, it wasn't like breaking my ankle. It wasn't like, you know, any of the other stuff. While all those, all those people were around us, I let one slip. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it, it that. It was the too. worst. Oh, that you was. Know, the well, worst. I think that was like trauma. <laughs> that's probably yes, what it yes. was. That yeah. was how my body yeah. goes in. <laughs> Medical professional would probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah tell me that's how that yeah. went. Yeah. So Everyone's face just like blue hair are red. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I can't I, believe. I don't think Trey really wanted to take me to the hospital, but he had to. Oh, um, that's right. Uh, yeah. Because you were. <laughs> yeah, you were in shock probably. I think that's what it was. That's my body. It was the shock, shock leaving your body. Just, so, yeah. Let's try not to have that happen. Oh, again. I know. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I'm that's, crying right now. <laughs> <laughs> that needed to. Hey, it obviously needed to come out. So. Yeah. Yeah, and that stuff's always funny to me. So that is. I look funny. back at it, and I that's know. like the one thing I remember the most. That was the worst part. 
probably for you guys it. especially not the snapping and because you clean snapped it right uh yeah it was a it was a clean break yeah uh, i mean it wasn't yeah. just like a hairline fracture it was a... i mean it might have been who knows but no it was it was you know it was very visible on the x-rays I yeah it was, it was a break. obvious yeah. break yeah and uh yeah <laughs> and then you, you go and break you break some wind <laughs> right it broke a little bit a toot I'll bet our our guest, our special guest, oh, has done that it. in the past, right? Yeah, maybe. I mean, you're, maybe. that's how you you're stay thin. <laughs> <laughs> and he is. I mean, our guest today stands at six foot three inches and one hundred seventy one pounds, weighing in at one hundred seventy one. I don't know who sends that information into. The well, internet. no, it was nice to have that uh, because it really puts it but in it, it's perspective, it's you know, like, it makes sense. You think of like an NBA player that's six, three, that, or an NFL player specifically that's six, three, they might go like two fifty, you know? Right. Uh, and then you got, or more there could, I mean, there could be six, sure. three, three bills. Or I'm yeah. Sure. You're like the cornerback. So you're right. two twenty, Right. But they're not going to be able to do but, what this, this man right. did and can do still guaranteed. Yeah. You gotta be that tall and thin to be able to spin like he does. Birdman. The Birdman. Why don't you tell us about him? Tony Hawk. Well, all right. that's all. That's all I know about him. <laughs> no, I know a little bit about him because, uh, you know, just about every year we make our our trip to the California coast. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just something about the ocean. You got you to gotta do a pilgrimage. You're a good traveling band. That's for sure. I yeah. I mean, not, you know, not to the outer world. I have sure. my circle, my sphere, which is like mountains and ocean. And all can be right. know, gotten within about 300 miles of here. It's true. You know, so, uh, yeah, the annual trip to the ocean, when the kids were littler, it was usually to Carlsbad, the birthplace of Mr. Anthony Frank Hawk. He, nice. uh, yeah, so Solid Carlsbad name. has Legoland, mm -hmm. great spot to mm -hmm. bring the children. Shout out to Legoland. I mean, they really put it together. For the little kids, it's great. It's affordable and, you know, fun rides. Great way to spend a couple of days. I need to get out there. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, your kids are perfect age. Yeah. Because well, then, yeah, you know, they get older, then they want the more thrilling rides. Right. You don't really find the thrill rides. At That's good to know. Yeah. I think. FYI. That'd be too much for a certain little boy yeah. of mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting too scared? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, sure. Yeah. No, I know. My oldest boy, same way. It's yeah. like the firstborn. I kind of appreciate it, especially since his middle name is Danger, you know, in my know. case, right? Yeah, that is interesting. Little... <laughs> you gave him the name Danger and he, <laughs> Only to he avoids it. No, nah, I'm sure he'll no. find trouble down oh, the road. Absolutely. But I actually gave it to him for, you know, for some game, help with his game down the road. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, like, Danger's my middle name. Right, yeah, yeah. Surely the ladies will, will come. I got to think. I got to think. But anyway, that's not, I, I derailed that completely. Hey, please, no, Sorry, tell us about, okay, tell us about Legoland. I was going to say, speaking of our firstborns, right. you know, caution, uh, we're going skiing tomorrow. And uh -huh. my uh, firstborn, who was fairly cautious on the ski slopes, you know, Sadie and I being into the winter sports, right. have forced this on our children. You have to learn. Good. What we like to do. Okay. And, yeah. uh, you must like you our likes. Come, you, yeah. We're not leaving you in the, the lodge or home yeah. with grandma. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, kind of kept it to his pace for a long time. Um, and he, he was always been a good skier, but it just didn't want to go fast. So now okay. he's uh, he's good with it. He's he ramped it up speed. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. You know, as a teenager. Yeah. I think, you know, they come out. So don't worry. Orion Danger will. He will find it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He'll, yeah. he'll get his. I know he will. His Not need for speed. Uh, so, yeah, our man, Tony, mm -hmm. Legoland, ran into Tony. Oh, nice. Yeah. Made the connection. Awesome. Like I do. I yeah. Tend to, you know, there isn't a celebrity that you've seen that has not basically fallen in love with you. And I can't yeah. blame him. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Yeah, they're instantly drawn to me. I yeah. Hey, I you seem it. like someday you're going to do a podcast, and, and I want to be on your podcast. Right. And there we go. Man. So, Tony, uh, yeah, we've stayed in touch. Mm -hmm. Besties. Besties. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do the vert with him. Oh, yeah. No, no, I don't. No. I'm not on a board. I just like to stay on the ground. Right. I love skateboarding. Right. Like, we were tricks. talking about that earlier. Like everywhere you go where they got the no skateboarding, no rollerblading, no whatever signs. Like 
it probably needs to be amended to if you're going to skateboard keep all your wheels on the ground just don't do any tricks here and you're okay but like it always it seems to be like that's the problem it's all the liability thing yeah uh, anyway going in another the, yeah. tangent no that's yeah. good no but, bring the tangents on uh i'm sure for tony he's run into a lot of that in oh, his man. life oh well especially when he's he's a pioneer right he's full on a pioneer of so they skateboarding. were probably chasing him out of whatever parks or mm -hmm. public areas right his four wheels rolling around making trouble yeah he and those other california kids yeah yeah he was and at the I, forefront of this you know and he's like sport he's a good dude i don't see him being one of the ones that is like you know that was yelling back or creating too much you know he wasn't yeah. too mischievous i can't seems imagine diplomatic yeah oh he's you know seems like a a good egg you know solid fella yeah well, well, yeah, you, you know, were mentioning. I'm sorry, yeah, well, of course, of course I know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. yeah, but uh, no, like you were mentioning before uh, we started airing, it, you know, there's different ambassadors for sports mm -hmm. that kind of press them into, you know, social notoriety, a leadership role too. Oh yeah, and I'd I'd say he's definitely that for skateboarding. One hundred, hundred percent. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I mean, we've had some of those folks on this show. But he's that for skateboarding. Well, I, mean, I think Tiger if, Woods if, for golf. Right. Tony yeah. Hawk for skateboarding. And if you, you know, you and I can name other skaters because we were into such things that, at, if not, you know, keeping up with it cur somewhat currently. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, the majority of the world that wouldn't have any idea about skateboarding is going to know the name Tony Hawk because of, I got to think, like beyond the X game stuff, it's 100% video games. Yeah. The video games that he's that have been created with his you know by i guess probably he had a hand in in some of the creation but you know they've been making games of his since uh 1999 um which you know just barely got that in and then mm -hmm. all the way up until uh i think most recently they still have have made them in 2020 uh and and so i wouldn't be surprised yeah, to that? see Pro that Skater continue you know if they do an every two year sort of thing we might see one in the next you know this this year sometime i would guess um but he had you know tony hawk's underground which you never played you did you play any of the tony hawk games i you weren't a big gamer guy no not yeah. enough i mean i've played probably pro skater i played something right. i think yeah, the boys the pro skater early xbox right i uh have spent many hours playing <laughs> that i can't get back playing yeah a variety well of these so what games. is the idea in the game are you i know it's fun because you can do you know some mega tricks right that's you know, just kind of like what it is five miles per hour of speed and yet you can do a like triple pop shove it kick flip and then yeah do triple. other things i mean the the whole point is it's like it's like when someone talks about you know if it's a football player that does some that does something amazing and they're like, oh, that was a Madden move or whatever, you know, it's like something that's not yeah. really real. It's not realistic, realistically achievable in life per se. Like some of the tricks are individually, but when you throw mm -hmm. these combos in and that's how you get all the points is like combo, combo, combo. Right. Like you go from a grind to a manual back to a, you know, another trick and then just keep that running and that's how you would you know basically get all the points, get all the points and and dominate the game if if you will and is so is that is that what dominating the game is so then it's just an individual like you're getting a bunch of points and you're just trying to get as many points or are there like levels or sure i haven't you, like, played unlock? it i would imagine nowadays they have uh you know full-on like online sessions and tournaments and things like that where these kids probably just go nuts on it yeah. and uh, the graphics have obviously gotten better and better um and so i don't know i mean that's a big part of his i think when it's all said and done his legacy right i mean uh oh, for sure. we, we all know the skateboarder like i remember very clearly as a young kid um uh, tony hawk being you know that the kid that was coming up that was you know kind of became the man i guess uh, mm -hmm. and uh whether it was from like skate videos that my brother had or skate videos that we were watching in high school, he just, he was there kind of all the way through, you know, when the X games, I think was the X games that first came out that didn't have like a vert. Uh, I don't know. I thought he was part of creating, or maybe it was just because of the street videos because he was, you know, he was more always a vert guy. And so with the street skating, like that wasn't really his thing. And that was a big popular, you know, like that was very popular with, you know, 
skater kids in high in the nineties, I guess. But, okay. uh, but yeah, he, uh, he ended up being, you know, the, the vert, you know, the man when it came to that, he's, he was in 17, uh, 17 different X games events over his career and he got 16 medals out of it. 10 of those are gold. I mean, that's, wow. that's, uh, it's, it, it wasn't just because he was a good name, you know, his name didn't get him those. I don't think it was, he was doing tricks and constantly innovating and creating and, and pushing the limits and then making the sport what it is now, which is, you know, I, I don't know if it's at the peak of its popularity, but it's, you know, it's certainly very popular. Oh, it is still, you know, I was going to say all of our, so many of our guests, you know, are at the top of their field, right? True. A lot of analysts especially mentioned that. Yeah. yeah. And in the, you know, athletes, you've got these people who just, you know, stand above all the rest of us and even the rest of their, you know, competitors in a lot of ways. Um, I wonder what that is. You know, I mean, that X factor where Tony Hawk still, I mean, decades in still making it happen. I mean, it, it, it's gotta be a mental thing. I think, well, you have to have the physical aptitude certainly. Right. But that mental capacity is uh, pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, it is. But I think I've, I said this, whether it was with Tiger or Serena, I don't care who it is. I, to me, the, the answer is always these people that you see at the top of any game, anything in life are the ones that have worked the hardest. Like, yes, they're talented. Of course there's mm -hmm. underlying talent, but they pushed themselves and got the most out of that. And that's why they're the best. You know, I mean, that's to me, it's pretty simple and not, yeah. Not something, I mean, yes, there's a whole mental side of that and like another mind game where you may have the skills but not have maybe the brain or the attitude for it. That's that's possible. So there's probably plenty of people that have the ability to be the best, the boats. Uh, yeah, best of all time. Best of all time, <laughs> whatever they may be. But they, uh, they either don't put in the work or can't right. quite cut the mustard when it comes to, uh, you know, just powering through and going mind over matter, you know? Right. I mean, and, and to get those medals, I mean, you, there's such tremendous pressure in that moment, mm -hmm. you know, when you're Put doing like your vert short amount of time. And yeah, maybe you get three, you get best two out of three. Yeah. I don't know how that Pretty, works in yeah. vert, something like that. Yeah. But most of these, you know, best two out of three. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you have to be stomping every trick. Right. You know, hitting those the don't timing know, stomping of each of those. You just nailed it perfectly. Just nailed it. Well done, Mike. But yeah, you get a 900. Good now they're doing 1080s. Right. And that'll keep advancing. Right. I mean, how you yeah. are able to torque yeah. and get that, uh, you know, velocity and spin and then land it on, you know, within 15, 20 degrees so that you don't face plant. Right pretty impressive <clears throat> it so, is it is and i much. think you're right yeah it's the practice like with you and your golf game you yeah, know it's not that is that this ain't no that. you practice no i don't no no but i, I mean do not practice to, like, we diverged right two decades ago your game kept improving mine slowly declined um but i just don't practice um so i think i don't you know, practice either it's like the physical but you play well i'm not i'm sorry practice like play talking about practice we talking about practice practice <laughs> <laughs> playoffs Play, yeah. playoffs don't talk about it. playoffs well, yeah. you're i missed uh, i messed up i put in the iverson in with that guy's voice uh well, oh okay well, yeah well, practice. no you nailed it <laughs> playoffs playoffs <Yeah. laughs> no anyway. practice who anyway. says practice is that iverson? yeah but no i know what you mean it's and that comes back to like what i've said before is like that whole ten thousand hours thing you put ten thousand hours into anything you're gonna be I hope halfway decent at it. Yeah, you know? and so the next ramp session, you're you're gonna nail it. Yeah, I mean, because you have enough of that muscle memory. Yeah, that it's just kind of instinct more True than that. it's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's impressive nonetheless. Sure and Tony, uh, we're glad to have him calling in today. Yeah, Mister. Yeah, we Mister sure Hawk are. the Bird. So Birdman, right? I mean, I don't know if he goes by that or not, but like, that's where we call I mean, him he out, has that be rude? A, you know he has Birdhouse. Uh, He's, his last name's Hawk. I think the bird theme has been sure. a very, you know, big part of his life. His, I would his think so. Birdhouse skateboards, birdhouse, you know, productions, whatever he has there. Mm -hmm. uh, all those good things. I mean, he's uh, 
The man's yeah, got a very podcast. entrepreneurial. Maybe too. he's you oh, know he's a podcast. He could be doing one right now. He's uh, I, I've heard uh, heard it. It's you know it's a good time. He's he, that's I guess what even with um, like you were saying with skaters and getting in trouble and all that. Like even listening to him speak, he just is so I don't know. He just seems like a uh, soft not I don't know soft spoken maybe isn't the right word, but just you know like well mannered yeah, guy that's not gonna temper. you know he's probably not gonna tell too many people to take off you hoser you know right not that he's canadian hey but no i know but he could be <laughs> he could <if laughs> any he of were, us could be he could tell him to take off the canadians amongst us yeah i saw that picture of his house mm -hmm. which was just amazing and you know when you have a huge pool but you don't fill it it's actually a skate right park yeah, in Encinitas, that's uh, that would be pretty rad. I see some trampolines up in there too. I mean, he's got. I bet that is a fun place to be. I'll bet so. Well, that's maybe even bigger than the local skate park. I would not say. to diminish what we got going here in Prescott and Prescott Valley, but uh, yeah, that looks pretty big. Uh, but we do, thankfully, uh, to those you know local community members and the municipalities putting together skate parks for our young ones not right. that the young are the only that can skate but you know i see plenty of like dudes yeah, our age that are still yeah. you know oh, still I pedal, they're still going at it uh, well, i still skate I, speaking of the uh board you're talking about the old school uh -huh. on one of the trips to california we picked up a couple long boards out there nice at the uh oh what's my favorite shop out there jack's jack's uh I don't know, surf and skate, something like that. Okay, yeah. I know what you're talking Their about. main hub is at Huntington Beach. Beautiful store mm -hmm. there. And, uh, you know, found a couple nice, uh, they're more like cruiser boards, which is what I like. I don't yeah. like, like the long board. Right. You know, keep going too uh, fast. Sector nine style. Yeah. Well, no, it's just like it's a lot of board to carry around. True. But you can get just, you know, a little bit bigger than a skateboard that has you know, big soft tires on it instead of the little skate wheels. I'm down. So you can like cruise that. the uh, the boardwalk, yeah. right? When you're yeah, in yeah. California, sure. you're, you need wheels. Yeah. One way or another. Good way to get around. Uh, so, yeah, uh, one of them is like that old, like, fat fish kind of style, flat nice. front, yeah. little tail. Yeah. Love it. Good stuff. Yeah, so uh, me and my boys still, I've got them Do rolling little cruising. around. They know how to. Good stuff. Good and they're man. goofy riders, too. Like All me. right, so, yeah. Four goofies there out of the yeah. four of us. Well, Sadie. Oh, you're goofy. Yeah. yeah. Sadie's, Sadie's a regular. I see. Yeah. yeah. I think Letty is too. Oh, yeah. You know, the funniest, the thing of like the test of that. Do you remember how that goes? Like, well, there's a couple tests? different. I'm sure there are, but, but basically you yours? just have someone stand together with their feet together yeah. and you just shove them Give in them the back and whatever shot. foot goes first, that's the one they want. Like in the that's front of the skateboard. Yeah. yeah. So that's how you know if you're goofy or regular. That's what we used to do fitting snowboards in Colorado. Nice. Yeah. Just uh, give them that push. Or like you ask them which, you know, when they go upstairs, do they yeah. start with the right or left. Our man's goofy footed. Do you know? Who? Our man. Our man. Our dude oh, Tony, Tony. H. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was like, our man. Who's our man? <laughs> well, absolutely. Our Tony Hawk is our man. Yeah. Known him for years. Right. Uh, yes. Well, I mean, that's, I mean, it just makes sense. Though, is he, does he kick monkey foot? Or what do you? What's the opposite of monkey foot? Do you know I what I'm didn't talking know about? That was a thing. Oh my gosh! I saw my nephew. He does the back foot yeah. on and then pushes with his front. Right. He, so he he pushes pumps with his right foot. Have you ever push. tried that? No, I would. Oh I would have died. Yeah. Yeah. I'm no, positive. it's like it would kill me. Instant. Yeah. He go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, your weight has to be in such a different spot. Um, I don't know. I mean, like regular but regulars with your left foot so anyway monkey foot is a way to kick but in tony's okay. world he doesn't have to do a lot of kicking right he's on the verge oh, a little drop in and go i yeah, don't think he, he just you uses know, his momentum six foot guy, three right pumping the right yeah that's that's when you're pumping as you get yeah. to the bottom of that you know that vert and pump it to get the speed up to the next one and then throws out his insane tricks and i mean he did because mm -hmm. he's so long and lanky his his handstands like looked cooler because they were all oh, boned yeah. out you know and like he's just all skin and bone he's not bones. really <laughs> but he's a little you know he's a little fella for a, a tall guy uh and so oh, is yeah, that him I mean, oh i was like is that him selling life insurance <laughs> 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 he moved on to reverse mortgages or what no 
<laughs> Possibly. You need, yeah. a, you need a call about that. I figured I know, you guys would yeah. already be, you know, I know. be working together. Well, yeah. No, I'm going to see case. if he'll do some advertising for me. Good, good. Uh, no, he's uh, he is a movie star, too, right? You, yeah. were, you were trying to quiz me, I was gonna and I was like, you. oh, yeah, I'm not going to get this. But then I got it. But then you got it. And I wanted, you know, it was like, I don't, for anybody that hadn't seen it, there's a movie called Gleaming the Cube with Christian Slater. It was uh, made right... It was, uh, was it, did it make it into your favorite uh, decade? No. No, Sorry, I think pal, it's it 80s. Didn't. It's 89. Sorry. Yeah, it's 1989. I actually knew that. I was just, you know, seeing okay. where you could go yeah, with that. No. But, uh, but yeah, it's so, it was, you know, 89, it was, Tony's part was not a big one. He was uh, in there with a bunch of other professional skaters that were pretty well known at that time. A guy named Lance Mountain was in it. Um, mm -hmm. I think um, there was... Uh, Gosh, I don't know if Christian Hosoy was or wasn't, but they just, they're like the skate yeah. crew that was, you know, cool and that, you know, Christian was like kind of trying to, uh, I think they were his boys. Um, so, oh, Rodney Mullen, who, I mean, dude, he was still skating, mm -hmm. if not now. I mean, he's Mike unbelievable. McGill, yeah. And Mike McGill was one of my favorites back then too. Um, but anyway, they, uh, they did the skitchin thing, you know, where they were like, holding on to the back of the car and riding their boards yeah. and, and like, you know, it just made it, it glorify. I mean, it just made skateboarding look a little cooler than it was, I guess. It was a nice little like oh, plug for skateboarding. Plus it was a movie about a skater kid who, you know, had to clear his name from, from like, I think it was like his stepbrother that, uh, had got killed. And so he was like, I don't know. It was, a uh, it was an ugly deal, but, was but that, yeah, I don't... you know, 29% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's, a uh, Okay. It's pretty well known. Uh, yeah, somebody high watched it. Apparently, that has turned. Um, uh, yeah, well, look at that. 87% like the movie. I don't know about so, this rotten yeah, rotten, stuff. Yeah, rotten is rotten. When it, yeah, that's rude. You know, it's I, mean, a, I love the movie. Hacking on creators. It was one of my was, favorites as a kid. Take it easy there. Um, um, but yeah, and then, well, uh, yeah, he, he, made his, uh, he made his way into some other movies too. He was actually, was he in, uh, yeah, he was in Police Academy 4, if you'll believe that. Uh, he goodness. was in Weird Al. Smells like Nirvana. Uh, that video. The video. There's a Weird uh, Al movie coming out. Yes, and I uh, think I, who's uh, playing? Yeah. Oh, it's like is it Daniel Bilbo. Radcliffe? Yeah, Daniel Radcliffe. Oh, yeah. Harry Potter is playing. Yeah. Right. Um, and so that I mean, <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to that. Oh we'll man, to get Weird we Al. Have Weird Al. On Heck the, yeah. Yeah, I definitely. That just know dawned him on you too. I know you. That do. just dawned on me. Right. Because he's from the '90s. Shout out to the 90s. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Not, right? I got it in. He had to get it. I was I know. worried about Well, that. I know. Uh, there's a little bit of 80s influence with Tony. There's a Tony lot of 80s. Is, uh, yeah. But he's, I mean, he's transcended all the decades that we like to refer to. He sure has. He's uh, right behind Santa and Dolly Parton for longevity, I think, in our, as far as our <laughs> guests go. <laughs> for our, I know. <laughs> Santa's definitely centuries. Right. Uh, Dolly's approaching a century. Century. No, no. Half century. She's gonna go for of fame. I hope. Half century of fame. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's. Yeah, we've got a few, but most of them are. Yeah, these past three decades. It's good to see Dolly just slaying these days too. After she didn't call in to talk to us, it I seems know, like that does. not calling us really boosted her. It did her <laughs> career. Yeah, she's we're, oh, and probably yeah, you're right. It's the TikTok thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're. Uh, no, we're impressed by all of her skills. Um, but I was going to say, you know, before we go too far, the reference last week, we're, we're in the new year, right? Mm -hmm. And I think the theme so far is rocking and rolling into the new year. You're right. You're right. Happy 2023 to everyone. Thanks we for had the rock. that in. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Can continue. We had the rock last week. Uh -huh. Now the roll. Tony. Of Tony. Tony, the, the legend of the role, yeah, the Birdman, no doubt. But here locally, okay. So uh, before we, you know, have lose to track of what we're saying and, again, and, and oh, okay. Uh, yeah, before he calls in, really, I right. do, I do want to mention, you know, that uh, so Mountain Valley Skate Park. We've got Prescott Valley Skate Park at Mountain Valley Park, mm -hmm. right? So the kids can skate out there. Yep, they can skate in Prescott at the Mike Fan Skate Park, community community skate, skate, park, skate right? park, yeah. Okay, which is nice little facilities where else can kids skate i mean i feel like you gotta have more open space especially because you know first things first you gotta learn to roll before Go. you rock 
That's right. You, you got to learn roll. to roll. That's right. And uh, and so you need some streets. You need some sidewalks. Yeah. Any good ideas? There? Uh, I mean, well, obviously, like we were talking about the schools. You go to the school, and the first sign you see, besides wonderful education, yeah. come here, send That's your well, children here, is no oh, skateboarding way, allowed. Yeah, right. We've seen that our whole lives. Right. No skateboarding allowed. Right. However, that came to be that that was the one uh, wrong thing that you could do. That was that was in the public big one places. For sure. That yeah. was. It was like, yeah. I think maybe because there was loitering involved. There's some loitering and maybe some. It's a great you word. Know, loitering. I think, I, and more than the loitering thing, which it is a great word. Right. Uh, but more than that, I think tongue. is a liability thing. It's a you li- think it's you a know, liability like some thing? kid, you know, buses behind on a on a ra- on a rail or something, and goes to the and hospital mom and now they're like throwing out the lawsuits and all that jazz. Yeah. Um, but and you know and that. then you have like you know not to bag on our infrastructure around here, but the streets aren't exactly what I would be wanting mm-hmm. to roll through. You know what I mean? I have a hard time navigating them in my truck. Missing all the potholes. With the suspension, right? Well, I do have some issues there. Thanks oh, do you? Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> gonna, yeah, don't you're worry. You're gonna replace those I'll fix, too. Yes, I am gonna fix those. Yes. <laughs> How were your brakes, by the way, <laughs> dude? After bleeding them, uh, I had that you know one scary day. I had one scary one day. Scary is day. all it was. Every time yeah. I hit it, it would just be like that. You know, that heart would drop into the bottom of my stomach thing. Uh, but they now, in there, dude, just... they're pro now. I because you bled them down. There was air in the lines. Yeah, only on one side, which I didn't realize. But had my lovely bride, you know come out and give me a, a little assistance. She was like frightened of it. I'm like, you literally just have to press the brake pedal. That's if you can do that, you can help me. And, and she did. And so nice. And now she knows. Yeah. She doesn't know what I did. Well, I know, but, but she yeah. knows that it wasn't going to kill her. Right. Or me or you. Yeah. Oh, is that what she was worried? Probably. About? Yeah. Like you were going to get rolled over. Probably. Who knows? Okay. Well, suspensions next. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we want to hear about that when that happens. I'll, yeah, I'll be sure to tell you cause that will be my first foray into, uh, that Suspension? job yeah nice. but i will do it okay <laughs> dude saving them great. pennies hey i think it's great <laughs> you know i mean get yeah you got the space to like you know get your truck up do you put them on jacks uh, i like blocks you blocks. know makes me feel oh like, like cinder home, blocks? back in <laughs> where downtown you, where you? dallas no i'm yeah, just yeah, kidding. Exactly. I'm kidding you got your cinder blocks <laughs> yeah uh yeah i'll use the no i'll use jack stands or blocks or i don't whatever Right. It all is, okay, it but all the streets. Works. We're getting Back off, to, we're yeah. getting off the Jeez. track, but uh, but the streets. Yeah, we don't really have great streets for for rolling. Uh, I but mean, it is. You said it, not me. Yeah, exactly. We just don't like. Right. When we go visit family down in Chandler. Yeah. You know, they're all you nice. Skate everywhere. Yeah. It's just all nice, but right. everything's new down there. Yeah. Prescott, yeah, right? That's true. We're we're a little older. That's true. You're right. If yeah, I could. I can't even imagine trying to skate like downtown or something like that these yeah. days whether it be you know just well, the sidewalk is too. nice but it's super fast yeah that's you're gonna I need some to, brakes i could pull that off about five six years ago nice good for you i was hitting the brakes a lot but um because that was all new about five, right. six years ago dang but then i turned 40 and i was like no no yeah I more I mean, pads. it's smart of you mm-hmm. good job thanks yeah thanks uh speaking of the extreme sports yeah that's how what else you got tony Right, I mean, he helped the X Games get going. Yep, and um, he helped to get skateboarding into the Olympics. Like, was a yeah. huge factor in that. I have to think. I know, isn't that cool? Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, I think you know, skateboarding is very tangible sport for people of all economic levels. Right. So it's pretty great to, uh, you know, be able to support the skateboarding, snowboarding, not so much. I mean, you gotta. You got to be able to pay to get up on a ski lift, right? Yeah. Whereas a skateboard, you can just you know you can see why get I don't the skateboard the much. Why, right? right. <laughs> yeah, because it's yeah, it's yeah, it's costly. It's oh, an it's expensive crazy. sport. I know. Yeah, yeah we're. Uh, oh, did I say? Yeah, we're going. You're forking it out tomorrow, right? Yeah, but now yeah, just I don't for one day. You don't have the season pass, but if you're only going mm-hmm. once in a while, then it's totally worth it, and you're not you know of oh, course. It is. And but you, that's you know supporting Flagstaff. the local the snowball there up there. Yeah, we love yeah. snowball. Right, but uh, that's Flagstaff for one day. We looked at Telluride. Oh yeah, Telluride for one day, two hundred sixty-two dollars for that pass wee. for one for one person one Dang, one dude. day. You don't have any connections up there in like Purgatory still or anything like that? Or? Perg, but not Telluride. Not Telluride. Yeah, no, well. man, Telluride's in a whole new I'd universe. Call in some more favors. 20 years ago, it was a pretty chill place, but um, 
No, no it is like dripping with wealth now. Yeah. There's no, they probably have armed guards. Wow. Uh, you hippies get out of here. It's a good problem to have for, <laughs> not for the hippies, but for, you know, <laughs> the drip. For the drip. <laughs> for the drip. Yeah. yeah for them. Yeah. yeah the, dripping, the dripping wealth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, the rest of us is hippies don't belong. It used to be a hippie place though, for sure. Yeah. Well, it yeah. was like a big, uh, like drug hideout back in the 20th century. You Good know that know. 20th century. Yeah. People hiding drugs. They don't have to. Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to hide them. Leave anymore. that one. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave just that one. They don't have to hide them. Uh, so, yeah, our our uh, our local people um, have a couple opportunities to get out and and find some skate parks. It gets yeah. a little cold this time of year for for the sport of skate. Yeah, and I mean Phoenix or the Valley is never too far away. I mean it's it's cool that like you know I imagine Mike Fan had a big hand in um, creating the skate park in Prescott, and that's awesome. And all the things that he does for you know our community is great. But I mean I think that mm-hmm. you know there's not a lot of um, that that the community doesn't have like a huge voice. You know what I mean? So it's 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 kind of not exactly something that's looked at as you know they're not they'd probably prefer putting in more baseball fields or whatever sport you know grass yeah. fields than they would something like that which either way is getting the kids out and getting the exercise and getting off the dang you know phones or ipads or whatever and i mean when i was a kid we were kids because when i was a kid you were a kid we were all yeah same time Wilson probably simultaneous yeah uh anyway they had uh thrasher land you remember thrasher land no oh dude you don't remember Thrasher Land down in the valley? No. Oh, it was huge. Uh, it had these, they like, it was all vert ramps. Um, oh, that's awesome. That, you know, you'd go in. And I, of course, was like, my brother was into skating, so that's why we were there. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I don't think I dropped in on, I mean, they had like 10, 12 foot. Oh, sure. So scary. Yeah. Dude, those at things. that age, I was like, nope, I'm not doing that. But he did it. And oh, cool. I went in on, you know, a little fella and probably. Yeah, some quarters. Bailed a few times. Yeah. Um. Uh, but yeah, and I mean, like, for those lucky enough to have like, uh, you know, handy dads or whatever, parents, moms, whoever is the woodworker. My dad had built some ramps for for my brother, so we had quarter pipes at our house nice. uh, way back in the day, and some rails and stuff. But I I don't know, skateboarding was I love it. I I didn't mind watching the videos, but it just was never really. I don't. I wasn't meant to be a skateboarder. I knew that early on. Uh, right. But I don't mind cruising. Cruising's yeah. fun. Yeah, you it's know? fun. Yeah. And and back then, all we tried to do was some ollies, right? Maybe some kick kick flips. Yeah, carpet boarding is a different animal. That one, yeah, I did like a lot of that in carpet. college. You know, when you're just doing the tricks with with no uh, with a deck with no just wheels, in, and you oh, really nice. can't jack oh, okay. yourself up too bad. Or even yeah, if you had the wheels on, you're on the wheels, carpet, so you didn't go anywhere. Yeah. Well, now you can buy these little rubber squares that I've go on those. your wheels. Yeah, I see. So those. you can practice your tricks, right? Trick boarding. That's yeah, on concrete carpet boarding on concrete oh want. right yeah, yeah. No, i don't know when sure, your kids sure, sure. or when your parents don't want you doing ollies in the house on the yeah floor yeah i mean if you had sub floor or whatever i could imagine that's just a, a racket yeah you know pretty loud. booms yeah yeah you could maybe pull it off at your house you got the right got them hard floors yeah the hard floors yeah, yeah. Concrete. stamped concrete right well yeah. yeah yes sir um you think uh you think you're our man mr tony's well, I mean, have you talked to him recently? No, I, I texted. Like I, I said text earlier, he him. could be busy recording his own podcast right now and totally forgot about us because he's like, yeah, I'll show them how to do a podcast. We actually have <laughs> listeners. <laughs> and yeah, Just kidding. To all, have uh, a great thank guest. you to all 12 of you that are still with us. Yeah, thank you. Really thank appreciate you. it. Yeah, good to shout out to Ricky. Ricky's yeah. listening. Yeah, all right. What's yeah. up, Ricky? <laughs> Good job, Ricky. Good Jerk. job on that fantasy you, football no, this year. No, 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 no. He's oh, awesome. you don't want yeah. to mention that? Yeah, we need a new commission. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, it might be another one of those situations, California time, Arizona time. Oh, right. You know, everybody You're else right. is bouncing around. Yeah. We're just steady. And that is Arizona especially time. helpful since, are we on the same time right now? No. no. Okay, you're right there an hour behind. They fell so back. he'll call in an hour. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I know. He's probably nice. he's probably out gleaming the cube. I would say so. Can you give us the definition before we go? What is gleaming didn't, the didn't cube? Didn't I throw that out earlier? I think I might have, but for those of you like Mike that weren't listening, um, it's, uh, you know, when it comes to the movie, he was saying his character defines it, gleaming the cube is pushing your limits to the edge. 
But after like the movie it. came out and was largely not successful, <laughs> it came to be known as uh, to fail so badly that there is brilliance in the failure. Uh, nice. Because there's brilliance in that movie. There's some great stuff. I mean, if you haven't seen it, give it a I'm good look. See it it's, again. Yeah, it's uh, probably some Amazon. Prime you know, video. I, I always like Christian Slater as a as a youngin. He's a he's a good dude. Probably someone we're gonna have to have in here sometime too. Sure. You know, he's super. He's still got you know. some stuff going. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. we want him to be relevant today. Right, which you know we're so relevant, we want them. to You got Hawk versus Wolf, the podcast. So you know that Tony is still doing his thing. He may have retired from skateboarding, but I think that had more to do with his body than anything else. And so right, he's yeah. uh, he's still doing his still thing. Voice, yeah, still largely you know relevant. So largely large, but not large at the same time. I bet right. he's still quite you know yeah thin. He's got that good metabolism. Yeah, or just eats well. Who knows? That could be. Well, yeah, you know. they were saying that he like as a kid. You know, he was just like one of the hyper kids, you know? Yeah. Couldn't sit still. Go, go, go. That Probably. makes sense. Turned out, yeah, they tested him. High IQ. Uh, yeah, not surprised yeah, there either. High IQ, hyper kids. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, I would say it's, a, you know, a credit to his high IQ that he didn't call in today. Uh, Probably. He knew better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Yes, it was. Um, but yeah, we're glad to have him. Glad to have him be part of our, uh, you know, library of guests. Fantastic guests. He's got, uh, yeah, he's got that skill, that X factor, which yeah. you're saying is the ten thousand. Well, hour. and you have which to have an I, element I, of you. like, huck it, you know. I said huck, like, I like know. huck it, yeah, yeah. huck it. Uh, oh, exactly. Or like he says, the craziest thing he had ever done on a skateboard was jumping Send between it. two seven-story buildings in downtown LA. So I mean, yeah, that's oh, sometimes man. you got to have uh, a little more, you know, crazy factor than brains. You know, a little more, uh, yeah, uh, pelotas, uh, huevos, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whatever you might say. Yeah, and crazy, like yeah, maybe lacking a couple screws. Yeah, yeah, I think there has to be a few screws yeah. loose to be Seven so good story. at something like this. But at the same time, you know, uh, thrill seekers, you know, like that's I that's know. how that people thrive under those conditions. I don't think I'm one of them, but it's awesome to watch things like that. I mean, he is he's done some amazing things that have entertained us and uh, inspired, I'm sure, millions of, you know, whether it be kids or others, yeah. you know, others. Up and comers. For sure. Gosh, that's huge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's fun. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Well, it's yeah. a nice day outside. Yeah. Get out and do some skateboarding. Get out and skateboard. Go check out your local skate park. Do something. Uh, you know, get right. outside. Yeah. Don't be boring. Looking forward to the trampoline park coming in. I want to do some flips on that and, and oh, that bad nice. boy. Yeah. Can we get some video we of get, that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. I can't do a backflip, but I can definitely do a front flip. All right. I, I'm not saying I'll land it, but. Hey, that's I will at least spin yeah. it. Just don't end up like we started this show with a bro broken ankle. That's true. Yeah. Gap in a flower pot. Well, the, good job tying all that. Yeah, if, if it was a flower pot, it was like it was a like well, six inch we just gap. Had, yeah, there was a yeah. gap in the driveway. Six to eight. We inch were all gap. trying to. Oh, everyone else it navigated it pretty well. That was, that was I don't think I did. Big boy, I, oh, I okay, could never. Good. Yeah, I could never. That makes me feel better. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks. I'm sure I slammed into the fence. <laughs> 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 all right hey well great being with you today benny yeah as well as being with you my man uh looking forward to the next one see you next week thank you to our cast 11 gang in here today yeah for making this a a reality and Everybody's thank you to everybody out there listening the we uh we look forward to hopefully we're entertaining you and keep it going and shoot us some suggestions on social media if you feel like it if you got somebody you'd like to see on the show you know yeah absolutely yeah we're looking for guests of both varieties, right? Yeah, the, and if they'll... Uh, celebrity and the local. Right, and if you'll call, that's, that makes you a little more, you know... You yeah. don't have to wait so long. <laughs> we do a lot of waiting. We do a lot of waiting. Anyway, thanks, Mike. Thanks, Benny. See ya. Listen in to Waiting on a Phone Call wherever you find podcasts and connect with us through Facebook and Instagram at Waiting on a Phone Call Podcast. You can also tune in to news, updates, and information from Prescott, Arizona on Cast 11, Prescott's number one podcast network. 